Okay, so today we're going to be running through some stuff about complex numbers. Uh, now starting with A. So we're going to express Z1 in polar form using exact values. Now polar form means that we need to find the modulus or R and we need to find the angle and then we're going to put it into cis form. So to find R I need to take the modulus. So that's 1 plus root 3, they both get squared and squared rooted, that's how we find our modulus. So then r is equal to, that will become the square root of 1 plus 3, so square root of 4 is going to be 2. Now we need to work out what the angle is going to be. So we're going to do inverse tan, our y component, root 3, over our x component, 1. Now remember, you've always got your hand trick. So if you put down your finger, that would leave 3 up. Now it's harder to use for tan. So you flip your hand over, leave 3 fingers up, flip it back, you'll see it's 60 degrees. Okay, and 60 degrees as a radian is pi on 3, and we do want radians when we're doing this. Okay, the last thing that we want to check when we're doing our argument is that it is in fact in the right quadrant. So here we've got 1 and we've got root 3, putting it up here, meaning that pi on 3 is our correct angle that we're going to be using here. So last thing to do is put this into polar form. So Z1 is equal to your R component, cis, your argument. Now remember your arguments always need to be between negative pi up to and including pi. Okay, B. Use algebra to calculate Z1 divided by Z2. And leave your result in polar form using exact values. So we're going to take our answer from the past question. And we're going to put it over the top of 4. Now I'm going to convert this one to polar form 2. So that will just become cis pi on 4. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to simplify what I've got. So 2 divided by 4 will leave me with a half, cis. And now with our angles, we're going to be subtracting. It's always the top one and minus the bottom one. Now all I have to do is make them have the same base. So times this one all by 4 and then times this one all by 3, which would leave you with a half, cis, 4 pi on 12, minus 3 pi on 12, which will leave you with a half cis uh, pi on 12. Okay, now part C. So given that W is equal to this, we're going to use de Moira's theorem to show that W is a purely imaginary number. So W equals the answer from the last one. Uh, and we're going to make sure that we show that that is imaginary. So I'm going to take this answer here. And I'm going to put it to the power of 6. Now, to make this easier, I'm going to recall the fact that 1 on 2 is also the same as saying uh, 2 to the power of negative 1. So when I apply the formula, now this formula is in your formula booklet too. Pretty sure the formula for this one is in the formula booklet as well. So all you have to do is follow what it says. So the 6 comes down and multiplies the power that's there, and then the 6 will also come in front of the angle and multiply the angle. That's going to leave me with 2 to the power of negative 6, cis pi on 12. Now we're going to break it down to see if we're only left with an imaginary number. So... It'll be, now we're going to break down that top one too. So if I've got 2 to the power of negative 6, that's like saying 1 over 2 to the power of 6. Now I can simplify that further into a number by using what I know about powers. So I'm just going to do it on my hands. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 again is 8, times 2 16, times 2 32, times 2 64, times 2 again is going to be 128. Cos pi on... Sorry, that will become 2 pi on 2 plus i sine pi on 2. Now we're going to recall what we know about the unit circle. 
Wait a minute, is that right? 2 times 2, 4. I went 1 too far, it should be 64, not 128. Okay, so because of pi on 2, if I think about this, uh, pi on 2 is up here, which is when cos is at 0. So I don't have any real component. Uh, for that one, that is when sine is at 1. So it's just going to be left with 1 here. And when I multiply that times the 1, it'll just be left with i. So therefore, we verified that it's true. We're going to be left with only imaginary components.